Dino, pull up the spreadsheet. Okay. Well, no, before the spreadsheet, let's talk a little about um, the Falcons game, week five. Um, oh, you didn't pull watch up the it. the spreadsheet. Okay, you didn't watch <laughs> it. All right. The, the quick thing about the Falcons game is that uh, we lost. But also, um, I wanted to say that even though we lost, um, there were a few things uh, that I noticed in there. Tell me when you can see my, my screen. Hold on, I'm sorry, my wife was talking to me. Yes, baby, I'll have dinner right later. She's telling me I need to make dinner. So anyways. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's pulling up, it's pulling up. Okay. When, when, you, when you get it, let me know. When, when I get permission to come back to the podcast? Oh, no, when I, yeah, I see it. I see you it. See it. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. So we've spoken a lot of You mind making it bigger, though? Uh, okay. Just a little bit. No, that's not working. Because remember, a lot of us watch it on the iPhone, so it's going to be kind of smaller. Can you see it now? Yeah, I can see it. I can, that, that's perfect right there. Okay. My, my computer is slow, so I must have pre- Oh, yep, it's gone. It's up. Oh, no. <laughs> Stop it. All right. I feel like I'm at work. <laughs> um, okay. All right. So, uh, the Falcons lost. Yeah. And there were a couple of things I noticed from it, though. Um, first off, um, early in the early in the game, um, when, in our first drive, there were a couple of like drops that you know people can say, "Oh, Matt Ryan should have thrown it ahead of him or behind yeah. him or whatever." You could say all that stuff. The fact of the matter is, he threw it, he threw it to the person, and the person didn't catch it, right? Yeah. And then it puts us in a third and long situation, and then you have to punt. It happened a lot, um, but. To the thing you said in um, our conversation about the top five, about the defense possibly having a turnaround, Mm -hmm. um, I'm seeing that. that In the past couple of games, the second half defense seems to be a lot more competent than the first half defense. It's like, I think they held one team to like three straight, uh, three and outs or whatever, and then the offense couldn't capitalize. Um, Mm -hmm. And it, it seemed like in the first half, they go out there, they don't know each other, mostly because people are getting hurt. Um, so they go out there, they don't know each other, and then people miss assignments. People are, you know, have the freedom of Jerusalem on the, the left wing, and you know, they, they get like a long touchdown pass. Um, but then the second half, they like really tighten it up, right? Yeah. Um, so I, I think there's something to be said for the defense um, showing up later in games. If we can just get the whole team to click together, it would be fantastic. But and that, it's, Yeah, it's just... And also, it's just... I think if, Dirk, if Dirk Cutter becomes a little bit of insp- inspirational, then maybe you could start to... Or rely heavily on Todd Gurley. Todd Gurley's playing at working. a level where you can make him an MVP um, freaking... I think he got ground player of the of the. He got ground player of the, of the week, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, Todd Gurley was, was working. Um... We just got to make it all click together. Um, so, okay. So let's go into this. I just updated this um, while we're doing our first segment. Um, Tampa and Sha, Chicago won, despite what both of us said. Uh, Tennessee yeah. and Buffalo actually was moved to... Oh, whoops. Let me do that. Tennessee and Buffalo was moved to... Tuesday. Uh, yes, yeah, Tuesday. Um, Tennessee won after having their two-week-long break. <laughs> um, um, they held Josh Allen to 16 points. Josh Allen and the Bills. Um, that was Houston, the game that uh, Josh Norman got snapped into next week. Right. <laughs> uh, Houston and Jacksonville. Houston won. Um, we both picked Baltimore. Baltimore won. Uh, we both picked Atlanta. Honestly, I don't know if we're ever not going to pick Atlanta. <laughs> so, I, I, I mean, I'm not going to put him. Yeah. yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with just picking Atlanta the, 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 way, uh, the rest of the way through. Um, Chiefs and Raiders. The Raiders won. And yeah. you know what? I, I, I caught the fourth quarter of that game. And yeah, they, they, they weren't giving Mahomes much room, even though Mahomes actually did quite well uh, fantasy wise. Fantasy wise is how I'm going to use, is what I'm going to use as a metric. Um, <laughs> to see if they played good or not. 
Right. To see, to see if an individual player played well. Well, remember what I said about the New England game. The New England game showed kind of like how you can kind of hold Mahomes down a little bit. Yeah, you know? yeah. And, you called it. You called it last week. You said that, you know, like they've sort of figured out the formula and maybe other teams will start seeing it. And, and you just needed a competent uh, QB. And I, a lot of people gave up on, have given up on Derek Carr. I still like him. I still think he's a good quarterback. Yeah, I mean, he's a good quarterback. I, I, I don't see him as anything particularly special, but no, he's not. He's not like, he's not gonna. I mean, he should be in the top ten over your uh, over Eli Manning for your friend, but uh... yeah. <laughs> you know, oh, you mean over? Uh, oh, oh, god. Oh. <laughs> um, Car. Yeah. No, no. I can't. I can't say that just because. Because Eli got those damn two rings. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, I but, do think there are a lot of quarterbacks that don't have rings that are better than Eli Manning. Um, that's true. All right. So, uh, where were we? Yeah, Kansas and Las yeah. Vegas. So Arizona then, Jets. Arizona and the Jets. I just like Kenyon Drake. You know, that's why I keep picking Arizona. And Kyler Murray actually showed up um, really well this week. So, anyway, uh, Pittsburgh beat the uh, Eagles. Uh, Rams beat the uh, Washington football team. We both picked the Niners, and Miami absolutely spanked them. Like, yeah. Yeah, I, that was crazy. I I had, going back to fantasy again, um, the Niners defense, and they got negative points. Uh, really? I, was, I was like, I wish Fitzpatrick had done this this week, which he's, he might on Sunday, um, because <laughs> I have Russell Wilson, and Russell Wilson is on a bye this week, but I also have Fitzpatrick. And he got massive points on my bench. He actually had the most points of my team on my bench. I still won, but I wish it was this week and not last week. Um, so anyway, the uh, the Dolphins spanked the Niners. Um, to yeah, I know that, that's kind of one of those things. Is like, seems to me like um, San Fran is having kind of like a Rams Super Bowl hangover kind of thing. Like you mm-hmm. know how last year the Rams kind of had a just fell off a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you might be right about that. Yeah. San Fran, you know. Um, so Dallas and the Giants, man, Dallas, uh, Dallas won, but they got a bad break, no pun intended, um, yeah. huh. with, um, Prescott, uh, having a compound fracture. The, the injury looked really bad. Horrible um, pun. I, I, what, what was that? I said a horrible pun. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I didn't read it. <laughs> and it, it, it looked really bad. I... I hope he's able to come back and play again. They said the surgery was successful, so yeah. Hopefully next year, maybe later. I mean, it, it's it's ironic because um, in that same week where that injury happened, Alex Smith came back and played for the first time know, right? since his a, a horrific injury. So yeah. you know, I guess that's a hopeful thing for Dak Prescott, who hasn't been having a great year. I think he had a death in the family. Was it his brother that passed away this year? Um, I think so, and then he talked about um, what's it called about having not. I wouldn't depression. say he had suicidal thoughts, but he yeah. did say that I guess contemplating suicide, right. which actually uh, uh, a great story came out of that from um, from our loss against them. Jaden Hurst, I don't know if you saw yeah, this. Hayden Hurst. Hayden Hurst. I'm sorry. Hmm. Uh, ran up to him and said, "Hey, man, I'm very proud of you for you know what you what you talked about. That was very strong. Me and my yeah. mother have a have like a suicide kind of um, foundation, yeah. suicide prevention foundation, or something along those lines." And he was like, "We should partner together." Yeah. So, and uh, know, yeah, I, I, those are those I moments like, look, they they remind you that you know it's bigger than the game sometimes. At the end I mean, of the day, yeah, exactly, it's bigger than the game. And again, we don't pay them, so like, yeah. At, at the end of the day, these guys they go out there, they do their jobs, you know, and. It's for our entertainment, but they but they have lives, you know, and they have yeah, exactly. things that they care so about. So it's just like so. sometimes people just need to chill out a little bit. But uh, look, that's Prescott. I'm not a fa- I'm not a Cowboys fan. I was born in Dallas, but I'm not a Cowboys fan, right? Yeah. I think it has a lot to do with how annoying my brother is. Like he loves them so much that <laughs> I started hating them just to piss him off. So I don't like Dallas. I I can't stand their 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 owner. But I like Dax Prescott. Dax Prescott yeah. is a nice guy. Is, um, is... Don't get me wrong. He kind of. Asking for forty million dollars a year, like uh, bro, you need yeah. to out a little bit there. But but I like I like Dex Prescott. He's a nice well, guy. He's well, you know, very- so uh, a couple of things. One is your brother older. Yeah, he's older. Okay, so when did you guys move to Georgia? Oh, so I moved. So I moved down here in two thousand. Um, two thousand. I'm sorry, nineteen ninety. 
uh -huh. um, to Atlanta. And then, but I didn't start watching football until around 2009, kind of like your friend. But oh. only your friend, I know that. You know Joe, the Joe Montana's and <laughs> right, right, right. Um, are so greater than Eli Manning. Everyone so I, I think basically what it is is that your brother had more time in Dallas, right? I, I guess that's yeah. Look, that was me. look, stop defending my brother because I, <laughs> him, I told him. I told him I was like, look, if your if your ass went to Dallas, you had no no idea. You wouldn't know where to go. Dallas, you have no idea where the hell to go. Right. Um, okay. <laughs> but. Uh, but I'm not. But yeah, I'm not a Cowboys fan. But I am. I I'm rooting for Dax Prescott. So yeah. I hope he gets. To I think come we back. all are. Yeah. Yeah, and then it's funny because my friend was like, I was like, man, that sucks for him and his pay. He's like, well, what's he gonna do? If the Cowboys want to keep him, they got a franchise tag him again. That's another thirty-four million dollars. Hmm. So <laughs> he still made thirty-four million dollars this year. He's just yeah. sucks because obviously he has no guarantees moving forward. So when he comes back, they could probably be cut him he'd have to go to another team and probably take a Cam Newton type of deal, you know? So that's that's the thing I was going to talk about when you, when you said that you don't know whether you should ask for 40 million. I, I think um, there's been, there's been a, a sea change where, you know, players are encouraged to, to demand what they believe they're worth. Yeah. You know? And, you know, because there's been years, decades even, of... Um, teams and you know not to get too you know political if you will but you know these white owners of teams taking advantage <laughs> of black talent and yep. then you know they get out of there and you know after a few years they don't have any money they don't you know they they, they squander away that money whether it's bad money management with agents or some other or not understanding so i feel like there's been a, a heavy focus on look demand what you're worth you know, and you, for, yeah, for it's like, um, yeah. And you know what? Look at um, in positions too, right? The running back position for a very long time was not Lucrative. getting paid. Now they're getting paid again. Mm -hmm. And I would give a lot, uh, some of that credit to Le'Veon Bell, who mm -hmm. we just talked about, right? Because he was like, I'm not going to play for the Steelers if you guys are going to franchise tag me. That's not worth my money. That's not worth my time. That's, mm -hmm. that's not enough money. He held off. He got a nice paycheck with the John, even though some people say he didn't get as much. But look what happened. They didn't think Derrick Henry was going to get a, uh, was going to get the next extension. Yeah. Because they, the if the Titans wanted to, they could have held off on it, and he also wasn't demanding it. But then they ended up giving it to him, and then now running backs are sort of trying to get paid more. So demand all the money that you think you deserve, but yeah, you also got to understand demanding thirty two million dollars a year is one thing. But demanding $40 million a year when you got the one of the greatest quarterbacks already, you know, signing what what what's a hundred million dollar how much how much is it? Uh, 10 years for a hundred million dollars? Who's that? Um Mahomes. What's his deal? A hundred and fifty oh, oh, I, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is, but uh I know that it was like a big deal, it's just the amount of time is you know makes it the per year isn't that. It isn't, isn't that, that significant. I really what he's guaranteed uh, is huge. Yeah, exactly. And then I think it's the equivalent of oh my bad. <laughs> that was wrong. <laughs> it's a 10-year contract worth 477 million dollars. <laughs> hey, pay the boy, and, man. <laughs> but divided among that time, yeah, that's roughly around 40 million. But yeah, Not no, but it's my homes. It's my homes. What are you talking about? Yeah, he's the most electrified player in the league. Like, you can't I mean, demand really, as much as him. Yeah. He played, what, half a season, came in, became the MVP for the league, and then he became the Super Bowl MVP the next year? I mean, like, it's like, yeah, yeah you can't yeah. – not everybody can be my homes, you know? So. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so, anyway, Dallas won that game by three points. Um, the Giants' offense was looking a lot better. Uh, Devontae Freeman looking pretty good. Looking I heard. Pretty good to the Giants, yeah. So you know, that's one to, to watch over there. You know, it's um, funny. He did so good that some of those people on Facebook were calling for him to come back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll leave that one there. Um, right. All right. Cleveland versus um, India, Indianapolis. Uh, we both picked the Browns, the Browns one. We both picked the Seahawks against the Vikings. But oh, my goodness, what a game. Uh, the, the, this is Sunday Night Football. The Vikings held uh, the Seahawks down. Pretty much that whole first half. Um, and then in the but then second Russell half, Wilson. yeah, Russell Wilson doing Russell Wilson things. Uh, he you ever found, seen uh, when they talk about him on the highlights? Uh, I forget who it is, but 
first name Russell, last name Wilson. He just proved what uh you never seen that damn. No, damn. <laughs> <laughs> no I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, you first make some Russell. obscure references, my friend. Um, so, but anyway, um, Wilson doing Wilson things. I think he found Metcalf twice. Um, Carson got a, a touchdown. Metcalf, I'm not gonna lie, Metcalf is room. I don't know how if this was controversial, but Metcalf is reminding me of of Calvin Johnson. Mm, okay. With his size, just with his size, because of his size, and just because he's become he's becoming that reliable wide receiver for for um, what's his name. Uh, Russell Wilson. Wilson, yeah, and I think if Russell Wilson does it, wins MVP, Metcalf has a lot to do with it. I think fantasy wise, because again, that's how you <laughs> that's how you analyze individual metrics. Uh, I think <laughs> that is dropping the stock of Tyler Lockett a little. Um, okay. I actually, I actually lost in my other league because I lost by three points, and Tyler Lockett dropped a chance to get a touchdown towards the end, which would have been a win for me, but. Oh, Doesn't well. he know you have to win your fantasy league game? Yeah, like the hell, Tyler. So, <laughs> uh, but no. So, but the craziest thing about this is the uh, uh, the Vikings were up by six. Was no, they were up by five, and Wilson had the ball, and Wilson threw an interception. So they're up by five with very little time left. The Vikings they drive the ball down, they get it to. Uh, I want to say it was like the four yard line. So it, it was like, they get to the four yard line, but it's like fourth and inches, right? Just bring your kick out and kick the field goal, making an eight point lead, right? You would think. Yeah. Um, but it was like really rainy, really windy. Chris Collinsworth is like, oh, well, you know, it's too windy. They might not kick it. You know, chip shot, but it was, oh, it's too windy. So they end up saying, okay, let's go for it on fourth down. And if we get this, we kneel out the game and it's done. Mm-hmm. They didn't get it. <laughs> and I was like, well, you are screwed. Because that was a two-minute drill of Russell Wilson just showing why he's going to be MVP. Why he's going to be MVP. And he, yeah. just, he just took it down the field. No, it was too easy. Too easy. And at, at the end, on I think they had a fourth down play. with I think it was like a fourth and something from from the red zone and he found i want to say it was metcalf for the game winning touchdown they went for two to make it a three-point game they didn't get the two-point conversion but you know um they they, they end up winning by one point as a result of that so, so if, you, you if you're playing the wilson kick it field goal. uh-huh so the funny thing about that game is so i was actually driving home from macon when that happened right when the game yeah. started because that was sunday night football right Yes, it was. So I was watching, I, I was listening to it on the radio. And then it's here for the local radio station that's here, which is 92.9 The Game. Um, I was listening to it. And then the breaking news of Dimitrov and Dan Quinn getting fired. Mm. So since this is Atlanta-based radio, they concentrate on, on that. So they're talking about it the whole time, right? And then by the time I get home, so th- so it was, they were up by how many points? I forgot, like... Um, they were up by, I want to say they were up by 17. No, or 13. So, so when, they were up when by the breaking news happened, they were at the seven, they were, they were up by, I think, 17 points. When I come back, Russell, when I finally get home, Russell Wilson is getting close to, uh, to, to making that magical comeback. And I get to catch like the fourth down. And I'm like, what the hell happened while I was gone? You know, it's just, hey, Russell, first and Russell, yeah. <laughs> last and Wilson. So I, I was talking to my brother. When it was at fourth down for the Vikings, and my bu- my brother was like, "Oh, it's inches, just go for it." I was like, "No, dude, it's if you kick the field goal, you get an eight point lead. The worst thing, the worst case scenario is that Russell Wilson drives down, scores a touchdown, scores a two point conversion, and you go to overtime. That's the worst case scenario. Like, just kick the field goal because if you don't make this, you're gonna give Russell Wilson his highlight reel for when they pick him as MVP." <laughs> it's gonna be yeah. it's gonna be your team that's gonna be showing up in the NFL honors being beaten by Russell Wilson, and that's exactly what happened. But that was a good game for Kirk Cousins, I think. Kirk, is Cousins? A, oh, I keep forgetting that he's the quarterback. Yeah, he's the. I think this is the final year of that three years, one hundred guarantee. Mm. Um, yeah, he ain't getting no extension. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I mean, I the, Vi- the Vikings are a, they're a decent team. Uh, I like that, you know, Adam Thielen is showing up again, like catching and stuff. Yeah, but I think, um, I think next year they're going to be in rebuild mode. If Zimmer doesn't win, it's Zimmer, it's Zimmer right? If yeah. he doesn't, if he doesn't win enough games this year, he's fired. They're the kind of team that you feel like they should they should be winning more. They whooped um, our ass though two two years ago. Remember, or was it last year? I don't know. I don't remember. I, think I don't remember when we last played them, but they're good. They're a good team. Um, and then last was Chargers versus New Orleans. Um, Chargers won. <laughs> not, and I nothing more to say about that. One of the few times I go, I'll go for New Orleans. Yeah, I actually wanted the Chargers to. You see, I had the Chargers defense because the the Patriots game got canceled, and that's mm-hmm. usually the defense I have. They got me exactly zero points. I needed three to win this week. Two and a half actually would have been enough to win. And they gave me zero. But my other league that I'm perfect in, I don't have any of these scrubs, so I'm good. <laughs> so so that's, right, that's the recap. So what's the total tally again? Uh, the total is. Uh, you made me super zoom in, so now I have to. Well, I didn't know you were going to do that super zoom in. I thought uh, it was going to be a little bit further out. 38, 33. Okay. I got to catch up. Or, or don't, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>